Hello, my name is Dan Johnson and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the brand new 14th Doctor Sonic screwdriver. So this Sonic was announced last week and then the following day, you could then buy it from Character Online Store. And that was very, very cool. But it also meant it crashed the website. Uh, people weren't able to get it. They had a limited stock um, and they sort of o underestimated how many people would want them. So they ended up selling out really quickly. And now if you go on eBay, they're selling for like 200 pounds when I bought mine for 30 pounds. And to be honest, a lot of people think that's steep. So I'm very grateful to have this in my hand now. Although first we're gonna talk about the box. So if I just put that down, and switch out for the more exciting thing. So we have the 14th Doctor Sonnet screwdriver down at the bottom. It's an online exclusive, as I've previously mentioned. It has with light and sound effects features, extending and opening emitter. And then we have the logo on the top there. On the side, we have the landscaped rectangular logo, and we have the same thing in square form on the top, which I think is a quite a nice addition. On the back, we have an image of the Sonic Screwdriver, the 14th Doctor, with a little bit of background on him. And then down at the bottom, we have the battery information, which is never really very interesting, is it? I mean, I'm never gonna display this box, but it is a very nice box. Um, a lot of the other Sonics, especially the older ones, were in like plastic tubes, which I always thought was a bit flimsy and a little bit cheap. Uh, this way you can admire it when you take it out of the packaging. Um, and I think that the overall color scheme they've gone with for this year's range of stuff because it's consistent with the regeneration box set that we got in terms of figures back in January, I really like. It's a little bit too simplistic for me, but I think it stands out really well on the shelf. Okay, now we can talk about the Sonic screwdriver. What's particularly cool about this Sonic is that it features different elements from different Doctors. So we have the 10th Doctor's marble there, we have the 11th Doctor's sort of sprung pieces, and correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't somebody say that the sort of top piece up here reminds them a lot of the 12th Doctor Sonic screwdriver? The Sonic is a little bit chunkier than some of the others, but not by a lot and fits quite nicely in the hand. It's also about the same size as the others. There's not much in it at all. Another feature that it has that would have made me, when I was very young, very happy, is this sort of dial down at the bottom. Now, it doesn't really do anything for the main, you know, Sonic, but when I was playing around as a kid, I used to just be able to press the button and that was it. The fact that I could sit there and sort of do this and make readings and make a lot of noise was basically uh, enough to sort of activate this thing that I knew what I was doing and that I was doing clever readings and stuff like that than just pointing and going at things. In terms of sound, we have four different effects which I'm gonna play for you now. And then in terms of light, we have, of course, blue. But this is the cool feature about this Sonic. If you take the back off as if you're going to change the batteries, there's a little button down at the bottom. If you hold that along with the button that uses, if you hold that button along with the button that presses the Sonic in, if you hold it for, I think, two seconds, that's three seconds, you get different colors and there are three to choose from. Blue, green, yellow, red. Now that is a cool feature because you can really change out the colour that you want to. Whether it actually happens in the episode, we'll have to find out because we don't know anything about this Sonic other than its design. And it's the same with the sounds. We don't know what they may be used for. I do like this theory that I've seen that says that it will be different depending on the Doctor that's using the Sonic at the time, it will be a different colour, which I quite like. And just before I forget, because it's not something that I mention very often, the view from when you look at it down this angle is extremely cool. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe. If you are new, I'm gonna go and use this Sonic screwdriver to go and whisk some eggs or something. But until next time, goodbye.